Given the increasing frequency of natural disasters, how to live in harmony with nature has become an urgent global agenda. With that in mind, starting today, we begin a new series of features from Japan going on a subterranean voyage of discovery to unlock the secrets of Japan's underground water supply. Inside Tama Prefecture on the outskirts of Tokyo, 50 meters under the highway, there is a 6.3 kilometer long man-made underground channel, the biggest in the world. After 14 years of construction, the entire system can hold 670,000 cubic meters of water. In the first of our reports from Japan, we find out how the waterway has effectively solved the problem of flooding in the area. Huge pillars reach up to a tall ceiling in this cathedral-like chamber. This is the pressure-adjusting water tank in Japan's Saitama Prefecture, with an area of 13,806 square meters and 18 meters high. The huge cistern is to temporarily store overflow water before releasing it into the Edo River. This facility has been used 56 times. 38 times the water was discharged into the Edo River. The other 10 times, the water flow didn't reach the required level to start the redirection process, which is 670,000. In the past, overflow from the Edo River would accumulate in the low-lying Naka and Ayasa River Basin. With urbanization, the sprawl of buildings, roads and other concrete structures created a barrier that forced water to run over roads to get to the river. As well as putting pressure on low-lying rivers, the basin area frequently suffered floods. We could build a discharge channel on the surface, but to do that, if it had to go through residential areas, we would have to repose the land, and if we wanted to build new housing, it would take more time. The high price of land made that idea unfeasible, so engineers looked underground for a solution. The system uses between two to three huge water storage banks to hold overflow from the Naka and Ayasa rivers. The water then flows down a 6.3 kilometer long connecting discharge channel 50 meters underground. As the water pressure rises, it's released from the first bank into the pressure adjusting tank. When the water rises to the discharge level, it's released into the Edo River at a rate of 200 cubic meters per second. But does the underground drain destabilize the ground above? This subterranean level is relatively ancient and makes a good foundation. Digging underneath it is safer, so we decided to make the depth 50 meters. The underground water channel takes the pressure off swollen rivers by temporarily storing the water or directly discharging it into a bigger river. On the ground, what are normally parks and sports grounds can be turned into flood retention pools to soak up excess water if needed. The system reclaims flood-prone land for the city and reduces the risk of flooding, giving residents a deeper sense of security.